Hello YouTube, this is the DS Insight again, bringing another cool review, this time on NAV3 for the UK, um, and yeah, I'll sh show the app. This app is completely free, um, just get it off the app store, um, you can, it's, it's pretty much, you can get it like, anywhere in England I think, I'm not sure, um, but yeah this is a very good app and I'll show you how to work it and stuff and review it. Right, um, when you click on the Nav Free app it comes up as some options, navigate, find, google search, my route, send location, upgrades, home and advanced, that's like advanced settings. Um, I will, I'm going to find a route so then we can see what the map looks like and see how it is. So this, for this instance I'm going to click navigate. Then it comes up with postcode, address, google search, recent destination, POI, um, favourites and contact. Um, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna click on POI for the minute, just to show you what that brings up, which uh, picks up, which is you can pick up any airport in the area, um, airport terminal, cafe, pub, car rental facility, cash dispenser, cinema, city centre, dentist, doctor, uh, ferry terminal, golf course, hospital clinic, ho hotel, motel. Uh, library, uh, museum, parking area, petrol station, place of worship, worship so if you're like w religious, uh, police station, post office, railway station, restaurants, shop, s like stadiums, college and zoos. Uh, so I think that's pretty good uh, for a free app so far. Um, for the moment, I'm going to click on postcode, but for the minute, I'm going to put it like, sh like point the camera a different direction so you can't see postcodes. So, be back in a minute. So, I'm going to click on postcode and then click on type in the postcode. Right. And now it comes up with these options. You have show street on map, route anywhere, enter house number, and find junction. You can enter the house number so then it can find the house exactly instead of type, um, writing in the post postal code. So then it just takes you to the street or estate. So I just simply this is just simple um, um, review so I can. Like see how good it is and stuff. So I'm gonna click on route anywhere, which means it's gonna take you to the postcode that you've typed in. So now it comes up with this. In the corner here, you you can see 400 meters. This is 400 meters there, and it says it approximately it will take one minute to get there. It says one minute, but that's the lowest it goes down to. I don't think it goes into seconds. So. That's the lowest it can go to. I think it is a bit shorter than that, but it says a minute. And now if I click on that picture in there, there, it'll come up with this. It come, you need to have Wi-Fi, I think, just for this bit here, just to get this picture bit. Uh, you don't need Wi-Fi for anything else. And you can look around to the state that you're going to look at, and you can verify if that's actually the place you want to... That's the, uh, actually the place you want your destination to be. So I'm going to click close up here. And it will come back to the um, come back to the map. It says here there's parking within 200 meters. Um, it's pretty good map. It's pretty accurate. It comes up with purple. But the best bit is if you click on start, this blue button up here, start, it'll come up as that, which is very good, I think, because it's like a bit lower to the ground. It's looking down on the road, and it's 
pretty, pretty accurate. It will show you how many kilometers an hour. I don't know if that's helpful. It will show you estimated time, which is 27 minutes past 18, um, 400 meters. Um, yeah, so, and up in this corner, it shows you what way you want to go next. So you want to go right and then left. It, this actually does talk to you if you have the sound up. So when I try when I try this in the um like in the like in a minute I'll do a video of me actually trying it out. Um it will actually speak to you, say turn right at the next jun junction and stuff, so yeah that's pretty good. You can also go on to settings down here. The because if you can if you see it's dark right here and at the moment the it is dark out because it's like it's getting dark early and stuff so it actually does sense what type of time of the day so it changes the lightness of the uh, sat nav so you can also go on advanced settings and switch to day mode so that will now switch to day mode but preferably I like it in the dark mode night mode um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I need to tell you about the sat nav, and let's try it out. At the second junction, turn right. So here it said turn right, so we will start, it will come up, we we'll have to go this way, so it is like that way. That way down there, that way. Let's go. You don't need Wi Fi for this. Excuse the wind if you can hear it. And some of them are touching. And now it's just said destination ahead. So we're almost here. So it knows where we're going. Crossing a really dangerous road right here, so uh, you know. And the good thing is about this app is it's completely free. Like there's nothing to it. You can it walks it 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 goes with you. So you don't need Wi-Fi. You can advance if you go on advanced settings. You can get the volume level sound on switch to night mode, which personally is my favourite. So you can switch to night, and it goes like that. And if you press find and postcode, you can put your postcode in, and it'll find it. Now I'm going to go back to map, back to map, and at the moment we're we're coming up to a little bend, like we're just coming up to the bend here. And it's saying on here we're just coming up to the bend, so it's pretty accurate. Loads of people are staring at us because we're just. Uh, you have arrived at your destination. We're just walking. And now it says we. Now it says we've arrived at our destination, which is true because it's just down here, and because it was a street uh, postcode. Yeah, so. street postcode. Um, you can also type in the, your your phone number, your house number. Um, yeah, overall I think this is very, very good. It's, I'd say, probably just as good as one of the normal ones you can buy for like £130 on the internet. So, yeah, so, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe, and see ya.